Well, the White House is boycotting the United Nations Human Rights Council in an effort to stop the U.N.'s alleged anti-Israel agenda. The U.S. will not attend today's meeting in Geneva, where the council is set to vote on several anti-Israel measures, including human rights violations against Palestine. U.S. Ambassador Nikki Haley issuing a statement defending the Jewish state, saying, quote this, the so-called Agenda Item 7 discredits the standing of the only U.N. body specifically designed to address the state of global human rights by allowing nations to distract from their own abuses back home by churning out anti-Israel propaganda. Joining me now, former U.N. spokesman Richard Grinnell. You were there, the longest-serving U.N. spokesman, Richard. We really are doubling down, as Nikki Haley is certainly doing today, on this rhetoric on a council we don't seem to believe in, and we frankly say it needs reform. Are we going to get it? Look, we've tried to reform the U.N. Human Rights Council for a very long time. In, in 2005 or 6, I can't remember what year, we did a big push, and we really tried to get members at the U.N. to understand that if you're going to get on this prestigious body, then you shouldn't be a human rights abuser yourself. But the way that the U.N. rules work is that that countries' records are ignored. So the word is out all over New York that if you don't want to be condemned by the U.N. Human Rights Council, you should get on the council and then stop any uh, condemnation or look into your human rights uh, record. So I think it's, it's good that the U.S. steps back and says we're not going to attend this meeting, but we're still a member of the Human Rights Council. Well, but, I think but, that we but, should do but, more than just not attend though, this one this, meeting. This is what, but Nikki Haley, I mean, you know what she's saying? She's saying this is a morally bankrupt council. She is saying that they, I mean, she basically, Ambassador Nikki Haley is saying they have no practical effect on world issues. Those are strong words from her. She really seems to be serious this time. Well, she's not actually in charge of the UN Human Rights Council. This is a body that's out of Geneva. So we have a separate ambassador that's in charge there. Uh, the, the, the real fact is, is that if it is as bad as Nikki Haley says it is, which I agree it is, then the U.S. should back out. We shouldn't give money to it and that we shouldn't be a member. Maybe I think that's the end game. We can't just... We can't just skip a meeting and pretend like we're, we're doing something. I don't think that this is the right policy. I think we should do much more. If it's as bad as what we're saying it is, then dial it back. Don't give money. Don't attend and don't give it credence. We have tried to reform this body um, several times. It is, it is not reforming itself. So I think that we shouldn't give it legitimacy and we should step away. So you say that we should, okay, so you say that we should, we should step away and really quick, Rick, I want you to hold on. I want to let our viewers know what they're looking at right now. We have been monitoring Senate Judiciary Committee proceedings today. This is President Trump's nominee for the Supreme Court, Neil Gorsuch. He has been patiently waiting to give his opening statement. We believe he's about to any moment now. Busy day. Yeah, wow. it is. A it big is. day, actually, for, uh, I think, the United Number States. Conservatives and every right. citizen is Rick, looking at Rick, let's listen in. Let's listen.